The first part of the sword we're going to make is actually the guard right above the handle. To do this, I'll go over into my tool palette, open that up, and select a plane 3D. I'll click and drag, and while I'm dragging, I'll hold down Shift so I can snap that into a straight position. I'll move up to Edit so that I can work with this in 3D. Again, in my tool palette, I'm going to click Make Poly Mesh 3D. I've now converted this to the Poly Mesh 3D. Again, if you click and rotate and hold Shift, you'll snap into place. Over on the right, I'm going to click Frame so I can understand the topology a bit better. I can also hover over the icon and see that I'm working with about a thousand polygons. I'm going to hit Control D a few times just to add a bit more resolution. To update your frame, simply turn it off and then back on. And you can see how we've divided this 3D object. With this subdivided, I'll turn frame off. And we want to draw a mask so we can do a mesh extraction to make a much more interesting guard. I'm going to go over to my stroke palette, select drag rectangle, move over to alphas, and I'm going to select alpha 28, which is a nice square alpha. I'm also going to go up to my transform palette, and dock that over on the right. Inside the transform palette I can click activate symmetry and by default we have X symmetry turned on. I'm also going to turn on Y. Now the reason I'm using X and Y is you'll notice I get these four points. With these four points of symmetry turned on I can find the exact middle. Don't forget again we're using drag rectangle and a square alpha. What I'll do now is hold down the control key and then click and drag this alpha into place. You can rotate this pattern to either get a star or a cube, but in this case I'm just going to go ahead and make a bit of a diamond. This is going to be the shape of our guard. Now I'll repeat this process, except for I'll hold down Control and Alt, start in the middle, and now I'll actually take away from this alpha. This time I'll actually draw a cube. Make sure not to get too close to the edges because we're going to mesh extract this and we want to have a little bit of geometry there. Now I'll just hold down control and I'll draw in my final mask. This time I'll repeat the diamond pattern. So we could have just used this plane or a cube for our guard of our sword but it would be a little bit more interesting to do something like this. Now you could take the time to work with a photo editing program as well, so you can create pretty much any design you want, or you can paint this by hand here inside ZBrush so you can get a nice organic shape. Now that we've painted in our alpha or our mask onto our surface, let's move down to subtools in the tool palette. I'll open up subtools and I'll click extract. Let's take a look at the thickness. If you're not happy with the thickness, you can select that new subtool that you just created and then hit delete. You notice that your mask is still on the polyplane. I'll take this thickness slider just up a tiny bit and then again hit extract. I'm a bit happier with that thickness. So now I'll select the original polyplane here in the subtool palette and then hit delete. That way we're just left with our guard. Again in transform I'm going to activate symmetry, turn on X and Y, and now I'm going to bevel these edges just a little bit by holding down the shift key. Shift is smooth. That way we can soften the edges of this guard a bit better. We'll just go around holding shift and smoothing this out. If you like, you can smooth in the inner diamond as well, but I'm just going to leave those straight edged. Now that we've finished our guard, we can start with the rest of the subtools. So you can see in the subtool palette, we have our guard, and now we can start adding the other pieces of the sword.